This even sounds weak to me. Since I know that no one can ever truly know me, unless they were me. Even in that, my very dialogue becomes unfeasible in the entire concept. Therefore, the outcome of my most hated and haunted concept, what hope is there? My mind says there is none, so I lose hope. But in my actions of looking, does that not call forth the question of, do I still feel hope? Maybe, but honestly to myself, I say no. I watch with the hungry eye of the spectator who is awaiting for the crash. Part of me wants to be proven wrong. As I said, I object to what I've become, but deep inside is the constant nagging fear. What if I'm right? That is where my hope is. I hope I'm not right. I can't be. I don't want to be right. And like some twisted Hitchcock script, the worst always happens. And I say, wow, I didn't expect that twist in the plot. And I look around for approval from those around me. Because in truth, I did. Sounds egotistical, but keep in mind, the twist of the little morales of everyday life and the stories we hear repeated every day in that life. You're afraid of success. We chant this to ourselves and others like some religious doctrine. Most of us believe it. Sometimes even change our lives paths because of this but it's obviously wrong. I, as a human, find comfort in what I know. If it's something I don't understand or have never experienced, I do feel a little fear of it. But it also rouses me. I understand failure. It seems to be part of human experience. I expect it to happen. I even feel compassion for others when they fail. Why not? I know how it feels. That is an experience we all share. Thus, it's obvious that what I fear is the unknown. This, oddly enough, is also a social catchphrase. Right next to, we're all afraid to fail. In truth, what most of us are afraid of is success. This is new and quite frightening. If we succeed, we're going to have to deliver on all those things that we've always bragged about, that we would do if we made it. Wow, responsibility of action. Even this statement sounds chilling and foreboding. Conjure the response. Oh my God, I hope that never happens to me. Kind of like growing old. In other words, being around long enough to pay for the sins of our past, so much better to live hard and die young. We all want to be different, but as well to find and fit in to the tribe of others like us. In closing, I guess my true desire is my desired end scene to this life. May not my death be the quiet result of having lived.